Hello, Daniel Daly here. Life in a Medieval Castle by Francis Gies and Joseph Gies. That could be Gies, possibly. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Okay. Medieval history comes live in Francis and Joseph Gies' Life in a Medieval Castle, used as a research resource by R George R. R. Martin in Creating the World, A Game of Thrones. Okay. Newly reissued for the first time in decades, Life in a Medieval Castle is a best-selling classic that has introduced countless readers to the wonders of the Middle Ages. Focusing on a castle called Chepstow on the border between England and Wales, acclaimed medievalists Francis and Joseph Guise offer an exquisite portrait of what day-to-day -day life was actually like during the era and of a key role the castle played. The Guises write eloquently about the many people whose lives revolved around the castle from the lord and lady to the commoners of the surrounding village. We discover what lords and serfs alike would have worn, eaten and done for leisure, the songs sung, and the codes of sexual conduct that maintained order. We learn of the essential role of honour in medieval culture, the initiation process undertaken by knights and how castles attempted to keep the constant threats of outside violence at bay. Exhaustively researched and as engaging as any novel, Life in a Medieval Castle is a definitive text for anyone wishing to learn more about this fascinating era. Okay. Uh, Francis, 1915 to 2013, and Joseph, 1916 to 2006, guys, were the world's best sung historians of medieval Euro Europe. Together and separately, they wrote more than 20 books, which collectively have sold more than a million copies. They lived in Michigan. Okay. All right. So um, I'll show some of the pictures, first of all, and then I'll sh tell, show you the content, the, I'll go through the chapter contents. Chepstow Castle. <clears throat> Couple more. this one, which is sort of medieval life. Okay. Now, the book is copyright 1974, and a hardcover edition of this book was published in 1974 by Thomas Y. Cromwell Company. It is here reprinted by range with Thomas Y. Cromwell Company. Okay. First Harper Colophon Edition, published 1979, reprinted in Perennial 2002 and reissued in 2015. This is the 10th impression, as we I think, of the, the reprint. Okay. <coughs> now, there's um, 12 chapters and some glossary, glossaries. So, there's a prologue, Chepstow Castle. Chapter 1 is The Castle Comes to England. Chapter 2 is The Lord of the Castle. Chapter 3 is the castle as a house. Chapter 4 is the lady. Chapter 5 is the household. Chapter 6 is a day in the castle. Chapter 7 is hunting as a way of life. Chapter 8 is the villages. Chapter 9 is the making of a knight. Chapter 10 is the castle at war. Chapter 11 is a castle year. And chapter 12 is the decline of a castle. Then we have a glossary of castle terms, glossary of feudal terms, Great Medieval Gar Castles, a Geographical Guide, Bibliography, and the Index. Okay. And uh, all up, the uh, text runs to... Chapter 12 finishes at page 224. Then we have the glossary and all that extra information. But chapter 12 finishes... A page 224, and the, the extra information, glossary index, and all that sort of stuff goes to, uh, just wait, yeah. 
page 272. And then we have um, some extra information at the end. So uh, extra information at the end, which has got its own page numbering. So that's life in a medieval castle. Cheers.